The NX Task Runner now supports tags. <laughs> In this video, we're going to go over to NX Tag Support, what it means, how to set it up, all the features you can get out of it. And we'll also show you this latest feature, which is how you can now use tags to filter out projects to run tasks for. Let's check it out. All right, folks, we're here inside one of my larger NX workspaces. I'm going to open up the NX Project Graph so we can see kind of all that's going on here. So as we can see, this is decent sized. It's not unbearable, but it's maybe starting to get there. And just to point out one of the tag features while we're in here, if I were to select a project Project here inside the graph, we can see in the UI that pops up, it'll actually tell us what tags are attached to this project. So our shared world admin client library, this has the scope shared tag on it. Now these tags are set on a per project basis, and as such, they're set in the project JSON file. Let's jump to one of our project JSON files. We can see that we're setting our tags here inside of the tags property, and we can see this is actually an array. So if I wanted to add more tags here, I could. Also note that while I am using a colon here inside of my tag, a tag can really just be any string. I'm just using a colon here because it makes sense to me. So in addition to being able to see our tags on the project graph, the other big feature that we had always used tags for was for our lint rule. If I go into the ESLint RC file at the root of our workspace, we can see here that there is an NX enforce module boundaries rule here. So here we can see that any project with the tag scope shared can only depend on other projects with scope shared or projects with the scope tools tag. Similarly for front end, front end can depend on front end shared or tools, back end can depend on back end shared or tools, and tools can depend on tools or shared. And then at the end, end to end can depend on them all. So this is a good way of making sure that your backend specific code doesn't accidentally end up in a build for your front end code or vice versa. Until recently, this was the main thing you use tags for. But now thanks to the NX community, we've added the capability to use tags to filter out projects for our NX run many and our NX affected commands. Let's take a look at it with run many here. To start, I'm just going to run NX run many and use the target here of lint. So this pulled my lints right out of my cache and we can see that we ran this lint target for 28 projects. And if we look at the NX graph, there's actually 28 projects here inside of this graph right now. But if I wanted to only run targets for my front end projects, I've actually already got those tags set up as we had seen earlier. So here I can add the option projects equals tag colon, and now I can add the name of any tag that I have. So here I'll use scope front end. And as we can see, NX ran lint for nine projects this time, as opposed to if we had gotten rid of the option 28. Now, if I wanted to target multiple tags, I can use the same command and I can separate it with a comma. So here we can say tag scope shared. And now NX linted 17 projects. So this was all of our scope front end tags and all of our scope shared tags. So this new mechanism is really cool for targeting specific projects for specific tasks. It'll be interesting to see if there's some more interesting things that can come out of tags now. Remember this tags array can support any string. So this may become a great way to specify specific groups of projects inside of your workspace. And just to mention, this is a completely optional feature. I actually think you can get a lot of the benefits of NX without using tags at all, but it'll certainly be interesting to see what y'all do with this new mechanism. That's it for this one, y'all. Keep working hard. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.